you know, it's a difficult game because we don't know a lot about this team. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be a tremendous challenge for us, but uh, our guys will be ready to play. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I say, I've been saying this for a while. I haven't played a game yet, so whatever you guys want to answer or ask me, go ahead. Carl, you've sort of said this type of thing before, but like in a game like this, does it really come down to you preach to your guys? It, it all comes down to what we do well, and uh, you've got to do what, what, what you guys do well to win this game? Pretty much. I mean, you have to. You kind of have to go into this kind of game with with doing stuff that you're very comfortable with. You're doing what your guys can do, uh, knowing that you're going to see some unscouted looks on the from the opponent. So yes, you're going to have to kind of rely on on your communication and making the right adjustments with what they're seeing on defense and and then offensively. Really, the same thing. I'm sure they'll probably have uh, different looks for the offense and. You know something that we probably haven't practiced against, and we're going to have to get that talked out on the sideline and recognize, and, and you know, kind of problem solve as the game goes on. So there's definitely it's going to be that type of game. Does it help that you, you guys? A lot of these guys had that sort of experience against San Diego State last year. I mean, you, you alluded to that as well. But like you have one day basically to prepare for that team. Basically, yeah, yeah and, and I've mentioned that to the team a time or two. You know, these, this within the last couple of days, I've said that, and and just just for them to know that they're going to do some things that we haven't practiced. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. So we have to uh, just be ready to make the adjustments when needed and take advantage of our opportunities when we get it. I think the things that are more important for me, uh, you know, as I look at it is I want to make sure we function, function well in terms of I don't want pre-snap penalties. I don't want, you know, guys jumping off sides, alignments off sides, um, you know, not stuff that's losing their focus, you know, so they need to focus on their job and executing what they're supposed to do. Uh, and and make a, make every play happen that uh, that gives us a chance to make a play. So, you know, it's definitely going to be that type of game. JT put out a tweet after surgery. It sounds like things went pretty well there. Do you have a, a timeline there? It, it went well, but it's it's pretty significant where he's not going to be able to play this year. You know, so he's going to be out for the season. Um, I'll let him be more specific about it because I'm not going to talk about you know the specifics of it. But it, it w they did have a, a very successful surgery. Um, so it was something that you know was a little more significant that he's going to probably miss the season. To prepare for uh, an Ed McCaffrey coach team, did you have to go back to like Valor Christian days and look at high school tape? Basically, we did. We did. I mean, yeah, that's really where his body of work that we know in the past is really from. That I know that obviously he's got some you know not some coaches from that staff on his staff, and he's brought in some other co coaches that you know from uh, different levels too. So I'm sure they're. There's some foundation of stuff like that, but I'm sure that's not all the stuff that they're doing. So they're probably going to be a little more complicated, a little more, uh, uh, I'd say, I would say uh, multiple, you know, in terms of the looks and things like that. And we got to do a great job of recognizing those things. What's your relationship like with that? I think you coached him at the Broncos, right? And I think in last year's media guide, he had a nice little blurb about you getting this job. So were you guys really good friends or? I mean, I know it's been a while ago. Yeah, it's yeah, it was a while ago. That was in the early 2000s. But uh, Ed and I, we, we got a chance to, we haven't seen each other in person in a while. Uh, we've talked from time to time. But, you know, he's, uh, he, was, he was really fun to coach. And, and I know that, you know, he can extend in this profession like coaching. And, and the reason why he's on that road to uh, ascension is because, you know, he's because of his playing style. You know, he was very detailed, very specific, uh, hard study guy. Um, he, he was, you know, what you would expect, uh, you know, most great players to be. So coaching b both he and Rod Smith, who are very similar qualities that way, it was a lot of fun on my part. But on the other side of it, I had to know what I was talking about. And, you know, if I said something that wasn't true or, or wasn't factual or didn't work, um, they kept me on my toes about stuff like that. So uh, I, I had to make sure I studied a little bit harder than they did so that I can answer some questions that they've had. What advice would you give him coaching at this level, making that step? The only advice I would tell him is, you know, it's his first year at a, you know, a college program is, you know, install your foundation of who you are, you know, both on your offense and defense and special teams and, you know, the things that uh, he's seen a lot of football, he's played a lot of football and, you know, he knows some things that have worked in his past and his career, and I'm sure he's going to use those as foundational things for, for building his program. So I would just tell him to, you know, stay with, with what he knows, and, you know, he'll continue to grow as, as most of us do as we get more years under our belt.
Brendan sounded pretty uh, even keeled when we talked to him yesterday, just of course making his first start this upcoming Friday. Um, have you noticed just any kind of nervousness with him or does he seem to be pretty calm, cool and collected? You know, when he played in the Texas game, when we say, hey, you're in, you know, he didn't, he really didn't change his demeanor or anything. He just went in the game and does what he does. And I think he's one of those guys, he really relishes playing, he really relishes in the moment. And, uh, you know, he's, I'm sure in, in his mind, he, he wanted to, to, to play well and to, to show that he could play at this level, which he checked all the boxes, you know, from that standpoint, you know, when he played in the bowl game. And I would just say that's kind of his personality. He, he has a tremendous amount of confidence in himself. Uh, he knows that he's a, a good playmaker with, with throwing, you know, whatever he's throwing people to throw the receivers or making plays with his feet. He has, uh, he knows he has uh, some unique qualities that makes him, you know, a special player. So um, I, I think he's who he is. You know, I don't think he's going to look at this as anything significant other than he, it's his first day uh, game starting. But I think you're going to see a guy that's going to settle in and, and, and play well as, as the season kind of progresses along. How confident are you in him starting this game on Friday? Very confident, very confident. He's, you know, he's put together a good week of practice so far. Um, you know, I, he's one of those guys that, you know, he feels very, very confident that if a play's a bad play, he has a, the ability to make it a good play. So I, I know that that's, a, that's one of those intangibles that not most people have, but he's able to do it. And I think he knows that kind of his ace in his pocket, right? As for me, I, I just know that he's going to play hard. He's going to make, try to make great decisions. He's going to try to engineer our offense and manage it. And I'm really excited to watch him play. Ed mentioned uh, that you're kind of one of the guys that's helped shape him as a coach, as, as kind of a mentor from your time with him. Uh, did you see coach qualities in him when you were coaching him? And then also, have you ever coached against one of your former players? I have seen coaching qualities in Ed and, and Rod. You know, Rod would... Every time I've asked him, I mean, you should you should be in going to coaching. He he wanted to stay as far away from that as possible. But with Ed, you know, I, he's he has four boys, and they were all very successful. And you know, the reason why they're successful is because there was a lot of teaching that was going on in the in the family in the McCaffrey you know household that, and then they obviously extended it when they went to their separate universities. So he's he's that's part of his fabric, you know. So I believe this is a great profession for him, and he'll do a great job. And I just don't want it to happen on Friday. Did you ever recruit the boys any in, the, in any stop any over the years? Most of those guys, I was in the NFL. Okay. You know, uh, when Dylan was out, I was in the and same thing with Christian and, and and Max. All those guys, I was I was in the NFL. Carl, I know it's not your first game at CU on Friday night, but getting to play in front of fans, to all the pregame pageantry, you know, Ralphie, does it all uh, have the excitement like it maybe feels like your first game? It will, absolutely. I'm not gonna lie about that. It will because. You know, we took the field with no one in the stands. It was like a scrimmage on a Saturday. So it's definitely going to feel like it's a, it's a college game experience, you know, with young Ralphie running and, and fans in the stands. So I'm going to take this really. It's going to feel like it's my first game. You don't want to say that it's a trap game, but does it help that it's the opener too, given that you got to keep it one week at a time? And what do you guys have coming up? It's, it's an important game. It's a, I think it's an important game that, you know, we feel that it's important for us to start off right. And, you know, we've got two other really non-conference games that are really significant too. And so it's, I, it's a, I won't say it's a trap game. I would say it's a very important game for us to get started on the right foot and, and hopefully create some momentum. Carl, early last year when you came here, I think you had talked about you had to, you struggled with maybe lessening your expectations coming from the NFL and some of your assistant coaches kind of say, Carl, this isn't the NFL. You got, you got a fullback. These are just college kids. How much closer is this team today to maybe meeting the level of your expectations than they were last year? They're, they're closing the gap. It still has, it still has a lot more learning and growth to go, but you know, I've only been here a year. So I, I feel confident that they'll catch up with our systems, offensively, defensively, and special teams. And, They'll, I know that they're better at doing those things for all three of those areas right now than we were, we were a year ago. So I have to take that as you know great progress. But we still can get better. We still can recruit better. We still can you know bring you know bring this program forward in a number of ways. We'll take that mic drop as a good sign to end it.